Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tristan and today what I got going on for you guys is we're going to be discussing the Travis Scott Air Maxis which I finally loaded up on sneakers. All of the rumors and kind of unconfirmed discussion by people has actually been confirmed by Nike and now on the sneakers app you can see the Saturn Golds, uh, the original Baroque Browns, I believe that's how you pronounce it, but those have loaded up as well, both of the Air Max ones and the Air Max trainers have also loaded up. So basically uh, Travis Scott and Nike's team, both of them I guess coordinated and they were like, hey, we're going to drop it all on the same day. So that's what we got going on and it's basically May 27th as a big drop day. So if you're trying to get this shoe to wear, if you're trying to get it to resell, whatever your purpose is. Is I got you guys and uh, we're gonna help you all out here but I hope you guys will enjoy this video again if you want more content like this it's all on the screen right here you can you know, check my Instagrams down below I sometimes post there uh, I'll be buying military force by the way today so if you guys have any of those for sale just DM me on Instagram I'll be buying those military blacks the ones that dropped uh, today on the 21st so let me know if you're trying to get some money before this drop and yeah feel free to also subscribe and like if you want more content like this we're always making kind of you know how to cop videos sneaker investing videos uh, even just some unboxings like I did one yesterday for some new balances yeah like cool if we just want you know was trying to 290 likes on this video I'm sure we can do that but enough talking this intro is already pretty long so i'm gonna cut it down if i can and let's just kind of get started discuss these sneakers all right so one of the first things i want to mention about this release again as you guys can see at 10 a.m and again may 27th and look all of these exact same day and they are all going to be dropping via draw so you will have 10 minutes to enter so keep that in mind this is a really good opportunity if you have a lot of accounts or a lot of different phones make sure you got that sneakers app downloaded and do not forget i want to just mention this really quick so don't forget the $160 retail as well. Just I'll point that out. That's pretty much the same in all the items. All of them are retailing at $160, except for you know these two ones. They're retailing at $150. So the air trainers are pretty much $10 more expensive. But again, all at the same time. So keep that in mind. But one thing again, do not forget. This has been reported everywhere. The Travis Scott website had over 1 million entries yesterday just for the air trainers, just for these. So. Keep that in mind. That isn't even the main platform where these sneakers are going to drop. The Nike app is the main place where these are going to drop. So if these had a million entries on Travis Scott's website, how many entries do you guys think these are going to have? I mean, let's be real. If you hit in sneakers, you are going to be blessed for this drop. Of course, this video is going to help you out with some tips and different things you can do to improve your chances. But it's it's this is going to be one of those drops where it's like if you hit, you 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 better be you know grateful that you hit especially if it's your personal size that's that's something you know you better wear those if it's something you want to wear again don't don't force yourself to wear a sneaker you don't like that's just that ain't cool but i don't again i don't really care where that's so off topic so a couple other things do not forget as well these are going to be worth it to go for these you know all sizes all sizes you better be entering i mean the toddler one I'm sure there'll be some profit. I mean, it's Travis Scott to air. I mean, I'm honestly just going to be focusing on the little kids and on the adult sizes. But when I actually scrolled down and saw this uh, for both pairs, I believe, I don't think it's just exclusive to the one Air Max or never mind. It is. So for the Saturn Gold, that is an adult size exclusive. These ones are, I mean, they're pretty nice. I like these ones. It's a good colorway, but I'm a bigger fan of just kind of this one. Maybe I'm just going with the hype, but I'm just personal, personal opinion. I think this colorway, you know, kind of suits uh, the sneaker model a little bit more. I mean, I've never, I mean, I wouldn't wear this one. I mean, to just keep it real, I would definitely, you know, make a great review on it. And, that, and again, that's what I'm going to try and do. That's the main reason I'm trying to hit in sneakers for this pair so I can give you all a review on it. Or if I get some sort of backdoor play, then I'll definitely, again, you guys will see that down the line. Uh, I'm going to be working hard to definitely try and do some, do something like that. I'm going to try and do it with the military black Jordan force a little bit later down the line. Hopefully I can, but off topic. So yeah, aside from focusing on basically the little kids pairs and also on the adult sizes on uh, the original pair of kind of the OG colorway right here and on the Saturn Gold, so that's just an adult size, uh, adult size exclusive, excuse me. Let's just kind of get into the resale for this pair since again, all of these, uh, I'm not really discussing the resale for this one since I haven't, I didn't really even intend to mention this one in this video. This, this just loaded up this morning, actually showing that the air trainers were dropping on sneakers as well. I didn't even know that they were going to do a release there, uh, but I guess I should have kind of expected that. Maybe I didn't expect it at the same time as the Air Max ones, but you know, Nike, they like dropping a lot of heat at the exact same time, making it harder for people to get it. <laughs> let's be real. But yeah, I don't think that's intentional. It's just how they schedule stuff. So aside from that, let's just kind of get into the resale on these pairs. So of course the sneakers release has not happened and we are going to discuss this one first, but you can kind of see resales right now comfortably sitting at a rounder range. If you see, you get one of those smaller sizes, it's kind of between like 470 and I mean, bigger i mean this is a huge range like look look it's all over the place i mean if you get a size 13 look what people are paying i mean 
you know, I mean, okay, 775. So it looks like this is just overpriced at the moment. So it's probably between a range of like 500 to like 800. And I'll put a plus in the 800 because like 11 and a half are going for a little bit more. But basically, you're making a lot of money. And the bigger size you get, uh, the more money you make. Unless it's like a 14, 15, 16. I don't know. I just wouldn't part personally go for those sizes. Maybe a 14 I would, but I would probably just try and avoid going for a super large size and maybe harder to find a buyer, you know. But um, yeah, aside from that, basically looking at the resale being between 500 and 800, I think with the sneakers release, to be honest, I don't even think the resale is going to drop that much. I mean, it might be another 50 to hundred dollars, but I don't think they're loading up the stock for this pair. I mean, there's very few raffles. There's really no, uh, like online re online retailers really like dropping this pair, like, a, you know, no like champ sports or like, you know, Foot Locker, like typical places you would see like a release none of that for this pair and raffles like, you know, typical again, raffle locations, like in-store drops, things like that. None of that. And the US is pretty much sneakers. So that's just kind of what I want to mention right there. So my resale estimation on this pair, I'm going to put it between, I mean, I'm just going to say 425 to 750, but I'm going to put a plus in the 750 because again, those bigger sizes are probably going to comfortably be at a thousand dollars or right around it, I think, uh, after this release. And this is, again, a really good hold in the sneaker. I just want to mention that this is not one of the sneakers uh, that you should ignore uh, just because, you know, you don't like it or like how it looks. It's going to resell really, really well. So just, again, make sure you focus on it because it's a good opportunity to make money that you could put towards maybe, you know, future personal pairs for your collection. Or if you need to pay something off, then, hey, I'm just saying, could come handy, you know, if you got that rent due. You can, put, you can sell this. <laughs> cover it <laughs> or cover some of it you know if you live in new york then i mean it might not cover anything because um, you pay eight grand for rent or whatever <laughs> i'm just messing with my new my new york folks and I, I know i know you hopefully are living good up there hopefully I, again i don't know your situation but aside from that looking at basically how these are reselling also the saturn gold pair a little bit less but i think after the release just kind of quickly going over it. I think this one will probably resell around the range of 375 to, I mean, looking at the bigger sizes too, again, comfortably sitting at higher prices. I think it'll probably be between 375 to 600. And I'll put a plus in the 600 because I definitely could see, you know, some bigger resale on this pair, no doubt about it. I mean, if it's, I mean, if it doesn't, if they don't drop as many of these as they do with the other pair, then, I mean, this one's kind of getting a little bit slept on, you know, it's not getting ignored, but the other colorway is getting so much more hype compared to this one. This colorway is getting overshadowed. So could be a sleeper. I don't know, but if you get it, I mean, it's still money. I mean, compared to the retail price, one, look, $150 retail, $680 resale. You can, you can make some good bread in it. But aside from kind of going over the resale and things like that, a couple sneakers tips I want to mention. So uh, I have this video right here that's kind of linked down below that shows you how to use like multiple accounts and how to make them. If you guys want to check them out, really useful video. And just a couple things I want to mention too uh, about, you know, using sneakers. If some of your sneakers accounts haven't been working, a couple things I want to mention that you can do. So first things first, uh, make sure you, uh, wow, that was a really messy span of words. But first things first, make sure you clear your cookies on Chrome. If you are using Chrome or any sort of, you know, any browser really, make sure you clear your cookies and it may require you to log into your sneakers account again and do all that, but make sure you just kind of, you know, clear your sneakers, uh, you know, kind of history. Cause again, cookies tracks, like everything you do, kind of where you go, how many times, you know, you log in, do this, do that. So I'm just saying it's important to sometimes clear that. So, you know, your sneakers account isn't like, Hey, you know, this guy's kind of entering in these drops uh, a little bit, you know, differently, you know, these just, this could be a fake account, you know, cause you're only allowed to have one sneakers account. And if they know you have like five seven sneakers accounts in your computer you know because they track it through cookies then those accounts are not going to work in the future and you're going to have to you know make new ones so that's one thing one thing you can do you can also change the email that you use for your account i did this recently and it helped fix the issue a little bit um and you know so you can also change your uh, account email again if you need to do that it they allow you to do it so just again that's one tip i have just if the current one you have isn't working or you know it's just like not letting you enter in draws and one thing i noticed too about entering in sneakers draws sometimes you know when you're this you have to think about this too the sneakers app is getting way more popular to use like it has over a million ratings on the app store so think about how many people are entering in these drops it's really hard to hit in a pair now uh to be honest the nike app's a lot better but one thing i have to mention is that sometimes if you're using an account on your computer it'll load through and then sometimes it'll be it'll be like okay you know we got your entry it's submitted and sometimes it'll load through and uh, you know then it'll show all the sizes again like you never entered and that's just kind of a common issue I tested this on 
uh, my Nike, uh, my, one of my Nike accounts, sneakers accounts, the other day, and it loaded through, and then I, you know, tried to enter again, but I still ended up hitting on the pair. So if your if your sneakers account kind of loads through and then shows all the sizes again, like you never entered, you probably did enter, uh, and you'll eventually get, you know, the kind of result for it later down the line. It just the app is kind of funky when you know you actually when you actually go to the computer to use it. It just kind of it's complicated. It's a little bit hard to explain, but that's another common sneakers issue. So I mentioned all of it in this video. If you want to go check it out and you've and if you've had any other problems with entering on your sneakers accounts let me know down below i can help you guys out with any of that so just leave a comment and i'll be there and again looking at the raffles none look no like just sneakers is what sneaker news is saying and when you go to raffle sneakers it's mainly in the eu so my overseas people hey go get entered in these you have some opportunities there so make sure you go i'll leave this down below for my uk and anybody in europe just make sure you go enter in these different locations they're all shipping raffles too all opportunities that you can get it shipped to you so it's not like you have to be in a certain location so that's just something i want to mention but yeah also shout out ss raffles i was checking this out and it's it just it's pretty much blank everything is blank like there there's <laughs> this is a sneakers exclusive if you're in the u.s sneakers exclusive unless you've got some people in europe that's your, that's your chance. So make sure you check out that sneakers video I linked down below. And if you have any other questions about the sneakers app, I can help you out with answering specific ones if you've had trouble entering recently or anything like that. So yeah, that's what everything I really need to mention. If you wanna check my Instagrams, any of that down below. If you were confused about any part of the video uh, video I mentioned, again, leave it there in the comments and you guys can subscribe and like for more content like this, of course. I'll keep it simple, like goal, how about we say, let's go for like 200 and, or I remember what I said at the start of the video, it was like 290 likes, so let's see if we could do that. And again, anything, leave it in the comments. I'm always trying to help you all out. I know I've mentioned that like four times now, but just leave it there and I can help you all out. So I'm gonna end that screen recording, my Instagrams, all that. They're down there, you know, top of the description, I'll leave it there. And yeah, that's, I really appreciate you guys and your constant support. And hopefully this video was helpful for you guys and answering your questions about how you guys could cop this release, improve your chances of it, because it's not going to be an easy release to get whatsoever. So I'm Tristan. Thank you guys. And hopefully I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.